Greetings, welcome to the Developing Dad Music Channel. I'm your host, Michael J. Griffin Jr. And today we've got another Hal Leonard lessons. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do the thing, you know, let me know how your practice went this past week. All right, but without further ado, let's get straight to it. So we're going through Hal Leonard's complete edition, books one, two, and three. We're just gonna walk through this, we're walking through this book. And today we're going to talk about musical symbols musical symbols so let's get straight into it all right so musical symbols it starts off with the staff the staff five lines four spaces this is where music is written uh, the determining factor of whether or not what a note is is based on its position on the staff right that's what you need to know five lines four spaces notes go here and what note you're playing depends on where it lies on the staff okay so that's the important thing. All right, for guitarists, all of our music is written on the treble clef. So, and the, this is basically just the sign. You see that sign right there in front of the staff. It starts the staff off. It lets you know um, what clef you're on, right? So there's treble clef and bass clef, which make up the grand staff. But for guitarists, we're only playing on the treble clef. You're generally going to be looking at that. Now, there obviously, if you're reading piano music and you're trying to um, play some of that it'll have both uh, clefts the grand staff but you would still probably be focused in on what's going on on the treble clef as a guitarist okay the treble clef is made up of five lines in uh, four spaces and the notes of the treble clef the lines are every good boy does fine or E G B D and F and these will always be some sort of E, G, B, D, or F, no matter what key you're playing in, right? This will be E or E flat or something like that, right? But you'll know that this is some sort of E on that line, okay? Uh, for the four spaces, you've got F, A, C, E. They spell out the word face, all right? So your, your space notes, F, A, C, E. And you'll need to remember these. This is something you need to commit to memory and practice daily and get it under your uh, fingers get your eyes to recognize it um, no matter what instrument you're playing this uh, Western music is written on the treble clef on the grand staff on the bass clef you need to know these notes okay this I can't uh, stress how important it is for you to learn how to read these notes okay if you're going through this book you're going to be doing this a lot so this book doesn't have tab in it that, that I know of, right? No tab in it. Uh, it is you are reading music the entire time, okay? So learn your notes, right? That's why it starts off with this. All right, so bar lines, all right? You see these bar lines that are dividing the measures of the music, okay? So the staff is divided into several parts, right? It says uh, by bar lines, right? Those are the little things that we see there. And in between each bar line is a measure um, also known as a bar, all right. And the at the end of the music, you see here, there's a double bar that lets you know that the music is over. Okay, so that double bar line just lets you know this is the end of the song. All right, oh, my my backpack is falling there. All right, gonna keep that in there, keeping it real, all the way real, right? Okay, so the next thing that it talks about is beats, right? So we've got we understand where the notes are placed. We need to understand something about beat, all right? Because music is about tempo. All right, melody, rhythm, harmony. Rhythm is very important. You got to be able to play on time. You want to be in tune and on time, right? <laughs> That's the two two very important things. Okay. Um, so you see, we have a time signature here. Every piece of music will start with a time signature. It tells you two very important things. I'm going to bump this up uh, so that you can see it. Take right. It says, uh, "How many beats in one measure is the top number?" and what kind of note receives one beat is the bottom number okay uh, so this would be called 4-4 four, four time or common time as it were so the time signature tells you how many beats in between those little measure lines that we saw the bar lines that we saw that make a measure there's four beats in that measure and a quarter note which we'll see in a second is is the note that gets one beat okay so we'll talk we'll I'll do a little demonstration of that at the end of this lesson to help you to understand what that means okay so this is very important right so when you see this 
There's three, four, two, four, six, eight, twelve, eight, various different. There's uh, there's all kinds of time signatures, but generally, uh, you're going to be playing in four, four, three, four in this book to start off. So those are the ones that you need to get uh, used to very quickly. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, and that's why you need to have a metronome right very important to have a metronome right this is at 88 one two three four one two three right it's giving you a key that every time that we start a new measure with that three four one right and you can also change it uh so that it that it uh uses three beats right and then two three one two three one two three but this is, you need to understand the time signature so that you can understand how to make your uh, metronome, uh, how to set your metronome, okay? So let's keep rolling on, rolling along. The types of notes, okay? There are more than these, but the book starts off with these because this is what the book is going to focus on for the first few lessons. You've got your whole note, and I'm going to bump this up a little bit as well. Bump this up. The whole note, which gets four beats in 4-4 four, four time. The half note which gets two beats in 4-4 four, four time, and the quarter note, which gets one beat in 4-4 four, four time, okay? So whenever you see a four and the lower part of the uh, time signature, this is what, let's see, this is what, these are the note values that you're going to assign to them, right? Now if you saw 3-2, that means that the second, that this one would get one beat right this would get one this would get um, a half right half a beat this would get one and this would get two right but it's just all it's all the math stuff right so I want to give you a real quick demonstration and we're gonna close this video out so if I'm in 4-4 time okay uh, let me turn my metronome on I'm in 4-4 time and I'm just gonna play a very simple note um, just one note two three one one two, three, four. I'm just giving you one beat per measure, right? I mean one beat. This is the quarter note. Now I'm going to go half notes. This is in 4-4 four, four time, right? Now I'm going to go whole notes. That's all that is. It's giving you a time signature to let you know how the notes are going to be played. All right. So what you're going to do is memorize this. All right. Work on memorization. Work on um, tuning your guitar. That's your homework. Make sure that you're doing those things constantly. Next lesson. And I may try to post this lesson. I may. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises, but I may post a lesson uh, that gets us playing this next lesson uh, on uh, the notes of the first string. I may. Uh, post that one sometime during the week all right but we'll see all right but be on the lookout for it all right but until next time keep practicing um, make sure you touch your instrument every day and I will see you all on the next one all right bye